And if you've ever gone to a barber or hairdresser, they don't talk. They just let you talk. Yeah. If yep. they're good. Because there's a subliminal thing going on there. That person listened to me. I'm coming back here. Because mm -hmm. nobody else listens to me. But he or she does. Yeah. So that's a little secret for that that sauce. So yeah, I, I, it was a very good process and I enjoyed it. And the great thing is my car was bought by a gentleman who lives an hour north of me. Go figure. Mm. And his curator, the guy who takes care of his car collection, he has a very nice car collection and a lot of Porsches, uh, um, is a guy that I hired to work for me at Griot's Garage 25 years ago. Oh, that's wow. cool. So Sorry. the day I got my car 13 years ago, uh, this gentleman, and you know, I'm not mentioning names because these guys are kind of private collectors, um, he went with me to pick up my car. So this guy was with me when I picked up my car. So I worked with him. For 15, 20 years, and then he called me on Sunday saying, hey, my boss bought your car. And I'm like, your boss? He goes, yeah, I just started working for this gentleman, and I'm going to be coming and picking it up. I'm like, oh, my gosh, the same guy who picked it up when I got it. So it made me feel good being a car guy because we all kind of get attached to these things, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's going to be with somebody I know, and the gentleman who bought it just reached out to me this week and said, hey, your car is awesome. Uh, I I'm honored to be the next caretaker of Orange Crush. If you want to come visit it anytime, you're welcome to. And right. so, it, you know, it's like the car community. I mean, we're, we're just, it's a great community. So, yep. uh, yeah, so I, it was a good experience. And, um, you know, except for the sticker shock on the tax deal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure the government will spend my money very wisely. Yeah. Well, you know what? We're a little bit past the halfway mark. I'm gonna let the fellas in. Uh, they probably want to ask you a couple questions and. Yeah, I know one guy who's got a lot of comments about that Porsche. Yeah. Yeah. Here he comes. Hey, Terry. What's happening, my friend? What's up, Mark? How you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm, I'm doing great. Nice to see you. I like the hat. I uh, appreciate it. I got one question for you, though. Uh oh, okay. Uh -oh. If you could see car. What <laughs> yeah. would it be? If I could be a car? If you could be any car, just like you ask everyone, if you could be any car. Okay, well, let me tell you something, though. But my question is a little different than that. It's okay. not what you want to be. It's how you perceive yourself as a car. Yep. That's a very, very harder, good. a much harder question. Car. To, yeah. Okay. What, what now, car do now, you perceive yourself as? Okay, so you're going to pull the mic trick on me. Thanks a I'm lot, the, buddy. Exactly. Jeez, who let this guy in the room? Uh, Lewis? 